Okay, can you see me now? I don't know what just happened. Hold on. Um, can you see me? Can you hear me? I don't know what happened. It was live and then it stopped and now I think we're live again. Um, okay, so no, no, I don't know. No, no, I don't. Okay. Um, really weird. Okay, so let me share this to a few places really quick. Okay, so like I said, normal paints are the colors we've been using. Um, you're going to want a bigger brush and a smaller brush, big and small. So you're going to want both of those again today. Ew, why is that sticky? Probably from yesterday. The toddler, you know, and the kids. It's really sticky. All right. Um, sure. And black and white. And paste. Okay. All right, we're going to let that be. Okay. So. All right, I think that's it. So we're gonna go ahead and get started. Um, what we're gonna do today is paint a fence and then we're gonna make it look a little realistic with some, um, I mentioned earlier, if you have string or if you don't have string, you can use floss. Um, I thought I had string of all people, I should, but I've obviously hit it really good for myself. So I'm gonna use floss for the, the part that we're gonna use that for later. Um, and then your big brush and your small brush and then your blank canvas and of course, your paints. So um, because I didn't give you guys brown in your take home kits and brown's a really tricky color to make, we're going to make a gray fence today. I like gray anyways. It's kind of my thing. Um, so we are going to do our canvas long ways, but you can switch it up if you want to. So the first thing you're going to do is grab some white paint. You can be generous with it. There's a lot of paint there. Okay. So go ahead and slap some white paint on your canvas. Just kind of go up and down. Be generous. Like I said, we're going to do some mixing and blending next. So, you guys see that okay? I know it's hard to see white on white. I know. So, just pretty much make sure the whole thing is covered in white. Hey, Audrey. Hopefully you guys are enjoying this sunshine today. We finally got some sunshine. Okay, so really slab on the white there, smother it on. All right, same brush, we're not gonna clean it. You're gonna grab a little bit of black. You don't need much, it goes a really long way. And you're just gonna go through and randomly, I'm gonna grab a little bit more, put some black lines or dots or whatever you want to call it. Nothing like precise. You're just throwing them on there. Then you're going to go back with your brush. I got to move this easel. It's not working for me again. Um, you're going to go back with your brush and you're just going to go from top to bottom and blend all that together. And you don't want it to be perfect because wood is not perfect. But as you go from top to bottom, it'll give you that wood grain effect. So you're just going to go all the way across. And if you've painted with me before, you know this is one of my favorite effects. I love the wood grain. It's so easy to do. All right, I'm going to flip my canvas to go side to side to make it a little easier. And I'm going to add a little bit more black in here. So you get up 
or up and down or side to side, whatever is easier for you. And if it starts to get like canvas showing, see how I have canvas showing right there? I'm gonna grab just a little bit more white. It just means that it's starting to dry or there's not enough paint. So grab some more white if you need to help it blend. All right, and there is my wood grain for my fence. This is going to be, have a lot of extra in it here. Okay, so there's that. And just hang on to your um, big brush. You don't need to clean it or anything. Just kind of set it off to the side. All right, so I mentioned that we're gonna use floss or string. So you want it, you're gonna grab it and you want it to be as long as your canvas is, this way, okay? So you just need it to be as long as your canvas is and then a little bit of room to hold on. So, ooh, it's minty, I can smell it. All right, so you're gonna grab your floss at the two ends. See, I'm holding it up here and the, the end is right here, okay? So you're gonna grab your floss and you're gonna dip it in your black paint. You can use the end of your brush you see, okay, you can use the end of your brush um, to kind of swirl it all around, make sure it's all covered. All right, so in my brush, covered in black paint now, I'll wipe that off later. All right, and then my string is all gooey. That's what we want it to be, nice and gooey, okay? So it's all black now. And I'm gonna turn my canvas the other way just to make this easier to show you. All right, so with your canvas, um, your wood grain from side to side or whatever way, you're gonna hold your string or floss, and this is how you're gonna make the picket lines for your fence. So you're just gonna kinda pick wherever you want those lines to be and give it a little, a little um, side to side action. I mean, like literally like floss. And it doesn't have to be perfect. Because let's be real, nothing in life is. I have a ton up here. First one took all the um, the paint. When you're done with that, just kind of set it off to the side somewhere. Doesn't really, we're done with it, so it doesn't really matter. And I'll turn this back around. And there are my nice lines for my picket fence. Um, now, because this one is super, 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 super wet, I am going to use the blow dryer really quick. Unless... Yeah, there's a lot of paint on there. Um, so I have my blow dryer up here still. So I'm gonna shoot this with the blow dryer just to dry it for a minute. Um, that way we're not waiting forever. So if you guys have a blow dryer handy, uh, you can do the same thing. It doesn't have to be fully dry to go on to the next step, but this has a lot of paint. So let's grab that big guy. Let's see if it wants to work first try. There's so much paint right there. So we have our fence and now we're going to add the, um, I am not a fence builder. I don't know all the anatomy names, but same brush that we had before. I'm going to grab a little bit of um, white paint, but because the black should still be a little bit wet, 
we're gonna add one of the beams that goes this way, like on the inside of the fence. So I'm just gonna go straight-ish across. And you want it to be darker. And then just have it kind of fill in. So grab a little bit more white, a little bit more black as you need it. This is not an Amish belt fence. It is an old rickety fence and that's okay. All fences work. <laughs> All right. And then if you want to give it a little bit of white throughout, kind of like we did before and blend it in, give it more of that wood grain look the opposite way though. So I got the inside of my um, fence, so I keep thinking I need to add more. Sometimes you got to know when to stop. You got to know, you just got to know. But I'm struggling with that right now, obviously. Okay, I'm stopping. I'm leaving it alone. All right. Nope. One more spot. Okay. Now, when you're done, stick your big brush in the cup of water. We're done with it. All right, next we're gonna use, oh yeah, I forgot I used mine to get some of that black off. We're gonna use a little brush. And what we're gonna do for these flowers is we're gonna make, they're kind of like lilacs. I'm not really sure what they are, but um, they're really easy to make and they're one of my favorite ones to make. So I'm gonna start out making some pink. So I'm gonna grab a little bit of white and a little bit of red. I'm gonna mix them together. I do want it to be a dark pink and we're, we're going to do purple too. So we can kind of, whoops, what? Let me put my tape next to it. Can you see the tape? Okay, cool. So we're going to start out with this nice pink color and it, you can glob it on. Oh, see, you can glob it on. It's okay. All right. And then what you're going to do is they're going to be hanging, you know, your, we're going to make some vines up here, but your flowers are going to be down here. So you're just gonna glob, kind of dot, a nice hanging shape. Kind of like a triangle. Doesn't have to be anything precise. Just a nice hanging shape. And you're just gonna dot it on there. Then you're gonna go and dip your brush in the white paint and you're gonna go back in there and add some white to it. And what that will do is give it some depth. Kind of like the flowers we did a couple days ago. And you can also go in there and add some like plain red. Maybe that's what they're called, Debbie. I don't know, I'm not a green thumb person. I kill everything I try to grow. My kids are alive because they tell me they're hungry. Pretty sure that's how that works. So you'll just keep dabbing until you're pretty happy with it. I'm gonna add a little bit of darker red back in there. And then all the different shades of color just make it, make it pop. Okay, so there's one. And then I'm gonna do another one somewhere else because we're gonna do a few pink and then a few purple. So I'll do another one over here. I'm 
doesn't really matter. Oh, I got a little bit of black. That's all right. Doesn't really matter the shape. They can kind of be anything. And I'm going to start doing some more. Almost look like elephant tongues. It's so quiet when no one else is around. Nap time though, nice. All right. So there's a pink one. Um, I think I'm gonna move. You don't need a cleaner brush. When you go from pink to purple, you don't have to clean um, because, well, red and blue make purple. So I don't know what I was thinking. But I'm gonna grab some blue and add right to my pink. I'll grab a little bit more red too. I'm gonna mix them together. And I'm gonna leave this darker this time because when we add the white to it, um, it'll lighten it up anyway. So I'm going to leave this a darker purple. Okay. And now I'm going to go in and do the same thing with the purple. I'm just dot, dot, dotting. Some of the pinks popping through. That's just really crazy. Okay, so I just had a crazy thought. I'm gonna put some purple in. Oh, yeah. It's like sometimes you have an idea where you're going and then you try something, like accidents happen, you know, happy little accidents. They're always okay. Okay, back over here now. <laughs> Now that looks like a fishtail. Those purple ones, all crazy. All right, so there's a purple shape. I'm gonna grab some white now, add some white in there. It's really simple. We're just dotting, kind of just dotting all around, giving it that pop of color. All right, I think I'm going to do another purple one right next to it. Maybe a little baby. Little baby purple. The color's changed a little bit. It's got some pink mixed in. There's a little baby purple one. Okay, and then I'm gonna do one more over here. They almost look like chili peppers too. Uh, they could be anything. We'll make them look like something eventually. All right, I gotta make some more purple paint and then out. Oh, no, that's close enough. I'm gonna try to cover up this craziness, but not get too much on my paintbrush. And 
I'm gonna grab a lot of white for this one, only because I have all this black right there. So we're gonna grab white, lighten it up through here. backwards on this one but that's okay whatever works I'm kind of glad this happened because it really does show you you can fix anything it's all fixable all right so now I'm gonna add some color into there because it's all like gray or maybe this one's a hybrid Maybe it'll be a hybrid of purple and pink and gray. But it's really just about having fun. So whatever happens, happens. There's so much paint on here. This weird hybrid flower. Oh, I gotta fix this bag here. I need to change the, the shape again. All right, so there I have my my family of flowers. There, that's what we're gonna call it: is a family of flowers. All right. When you are all done with your dotting, you will clean off your brush. And hopefully this area is pretty dry. All right, so clean, dry off your brush, your little brush. All right, so for the vines, I'm gonna use white first. That way when we go in to put the green, it'll help pop against the gray. So I'm gonna grab some white paint with my little brush and I'm going to just have some fun with these vines. They can really go anywhere you want. You can add a little leaves too. And just remember, we will paint all of that green, but for right now, just kinda have some fun with your vines. Nice whimsical picture. Can I see that? Okay, you can see that good. I love squirrels, I think they're relaxing. Now these are reminding me of carrots. <laughs> I'm just gonna have some random vines coming down here too. Don't forget about your little leaves. I feel like this guy's gotta have a big old honking leaves and stems coming from it because it's so big. So just fun little squirrels and twists and, and leaves and put them wherever you want. And I think of leaves as like a parenthesis with a point or a teardrop shape. Really whatever happens, happens. There's no right or wrong. Add a few little leaves here and here. Okay, 
So I'm pretty happy with all those little leaves. Um, now I'm gonna make some green. So if you guys remember, I'm gonna leave the white on my brush. So I'm gonna grab some yellow and some blue, mix them together, and what do you get? Green. So you'll kind of have to find the shade of green you want for this. Um, I do want mine to be a little darker. So I'm gonna grab the tiniest bit, do you see that? Yeah, tiniest bit of black, just because I want to darken mine up a little bit. I don't want it to be too bright and cheer, not, not cheerful, but you know, I just want it to be a little bit of a darker green. So, oh, I made it too sweet. So I'm gonna grab just a little bit more black because it's not dark enough. I guess I could move that so you guys could see the picture still, sorry. paint starting to run. Ah, there we go. Got it now. Okay, so that's the green I came up with right there. So now with my green, I'm just going to go back over everything I did in white, and I'm going to do it with green now. And some of the white's gonna blend in, and that's okay. It kind of gives it the different shades of green that you would find in nature, anyways. Or if it bothers you, you can let it dry and, and come back, or use your blow dryer, whatever, whatever is easier for you. I wish on live you could like speed things up the way you could in the actual video, but then it wouldn't be live. All right, how are you guys doing? You guys painting along? Some of you probably are not, that's okay. And I wanna see your guys' creations. I was so sad. Um, I didn't see hardly anyone's flower pictures or the beach pictures. So if you painted along, Please share with me. I like to see them. It brings me happiness in this time of quarantine. You guys still see? Yeah. Okay. That is my picture. Whoa, that was a lot of green. I'm not a picture. Like I said, I literally don't know what we're painting until right before we go live, and I'm like, oh, that sounds like fun. So I'm painting these with you for the very first time, and they're all new stuff. That way you have something new to do. I think that's so important right now. We're all, like, just stuck, so we got to have fun and new and exciting things to look forward to. Sorry, it's easier if I move the easel than trying to reach all the way across. You guys probably didn't even notice. I'm just trying. Is 
the goal is to cover up all the light. Um, some of it's still showing through and that's okay. I'm gonna make another shade of green here in a minute and do some highlights with that and we can help offset some of that white if you have some showing. Okay, so I just mentioned that we're gonna make another shade of green. So I'm gonna do a lighter green, so more yellow than blue. I want it to be like a really bright green. I love that. So, I don't know, you can hopefully tell the difference. That's the darker green, that's the lighter green. So definitely change the green there. And I'm just gonna use that and go through and give a few little highlights here and there on some spots. And it just helps it kind of pop a little bit. Maybe do little highlights on your leaves. Hopefully you can see. I don't know. Can you see a little change of green in there? Just gives it a little bit of depth. So go through with your lighter green and just do a few little swirls here and there, little lines, little wisps. I know, I love wisps. People hate me, they hate wisps. Sorry. cat hi my um we call her a fat cat she's down here begging for attention thank you debbie are you painting with us clean and dry with my brush. All right, and then I have another idea. I'm not sure if it's gonna ruin it or not, so we'll just see. So with my little brush, I'm gonna grab a little bit of black, and I wanna add some black lines, just to add a little bit of shadow and detail that way too. So very, very light with your hand. Did you see just that little bit of black? And maybe I'll go through and give each of the leaves their little um, dividing line. Really, really light with your black. Okay, I think that actually, I think that looks good. And if you want your black to be a little bit thinner, you can always get your brush wet and mix some of that with your black and that'll just create a thinner line. My cat's rubbing against the tripod. Sorry about that. It's not an earthquake, just a fat cat. <laughs> All right. Go in with your black now. Doesn't really matter where. It can really be anywhere. And then remember, if you twirl your brush on your paper plate with your paint, it'll keep that tip nice and fine for you.
I wish I could sing, but I cannot. But it's so quiet. I'm sorry. Almost done. Ooh, that was a lot of black paint. And there's no right or wrong where you put the lines. It's just wherever you want them, put them on there. Um, and then even if you want, you can add some dark in your flowers. I wouldn't go too crazy with it, though. That one's got enough color going on. So I think that's it. I think we're going to call that done. That's my um, new and improved quarantine flowers on a fence. Um, don't forget your very last step, your most important step ever when you make a masterpiece, you have to sign your name. That's right, guys. Good job. All right. So thank you for watching. Please share your artwork with me in the comments. I love to see what everyone does and how creative they get with their own flares. Um, yeah, that's it for now. If you guys need more paint or canvases, internet connection, is it back? It's back. Okay. Um, let me know if you need more paint or canvases and we can get those to you. Um, I still have plenty of kits per se, um, and I'm sure some of you are due for refills. So let me know. Thanks for watching. Thanks for following along and I will see you guys soon. Have a good day.